Good evening and welcome to my study. My name is Ron, I'm your host, and it is my pleasure to share a daily devotional with you. Hopefully something that gives you pause to think. Well on even. Well, the uh, Remembrance Day November 11th is past. It was uh, all the news coverage I've seen of it was fairly disgusting. And, but we can elect a different government next time. Anyway, over the weekend, my Football team didn't do so good. The neighboring province kind of shellacked us. But that's okay. We have a devotional tonight. And we should get after it. Whoop. <laughs> Dropping my cutlery here. Okay, see if that'll sit there nice. Yeah. We are in John chapter 10. And Jesus is talking to a crowd and he's telling them about the shepherd and his sheep. I tell you the truth, anyone who sneaks over the wall of a shepherd of a sheepfold rather than going through the gate must surely be a thief and a robber. But the one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep recognize his voice and come to him. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. After he has gathered his flock, he walks ahead of them, and they follow him because they know his voice. They won't follow a stranger. They will run from him because they don't know his voice. Now, I've never been a sheep herder, but it sounds like the sheep get to know the voice of the shepherd. <sighs> so that's the parable or illustration that Jesus was using at the time. Those who heard Jesus use this illustration didn't understand what he meant, so he explained it to them. I tell you the truth, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me were thieves and robbers, but the true sheep did not listen to them. There must have been some false witnesses that came ahead of Jesus. Yes, I am the gate. Those who come in through me will be saved. They will come and go freely and will find good pastures. The thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. I don't believe you have to be a rocket scientist to decide which is the right choice. <laughs> it behooves me to think how many people make the wrong choice. We are we are a stubborn group, aren't we? There's some good uh, fodder for talking to people with. The thief comes to kill, steal, steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus come to give us life abundantly. Amen? Amen. You all have a great night. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. The verse for this week, Romans 12, verse 2. 
don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. But let God transform you by the way you think. And then there's some more. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm getting it. It'll be in the outro. You all have a great night. <laughs>